what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to a slightly different video today amongst all of the progress videos on the ultimate iron man now the reason behind this video is a few people have asked me in game how i'm planning to do my construction so i figured rather than just cons constantly typing it out all the time to everybody individually who asks i'm just going to post a little video i'm going to show you the run and the routes i'm planning on taking to do this i'm not entirely sure what level i'm going to yet between 70 to 73 depending on my cash pile but yeah this is kind of it's not really a guide it's kind of just a, a how i'm going to go about it and if it looks like it could work for you guys then it's a win-win so first things first uh things you would require for this are 20 construction for the novice contracts now i recommend doing daddy's home early i think Think you need to do that to be able to do mahogany homes anyway um that is a mini quest i think it is called is it a mini quest is that what they are now yeah mini quest so go and smash out daddy's home really really not a wait what have i not even done it huh apparently you don't need daddy's home to do mahogany homes i'm talking absolute rubbish but it is actually decent uh, construction XP. I do believe it gets you up to nine ASAP. So yeah, you're going to want to do it anyway. Might as well get the free levels. Um, you've got a few ways you can go about getting up to 20. Uh, I did it via Temporos. I smashed out some of that early and I got some plank drops. A lot of other Iron Man go to Winter Todd to go and finish off. Well, I mean, if you get a 99 fire making, you're going to have God knows what construction level anyway. So... Um, Apart from those two, you can go and pick up planks elsewhere at Port Cazard, I believe, is one of them, and at Barbarian Assault, if you don't want to do either of those minigames. So get yourself to 20, and then you can start looking at what you need for the actual run. Now, I'd highly recommend going to uh, Guardians of the Rift. I think this is probably one of the most important items I ever got. Now, this Ring of the Elements is an absolute dream. Not only at early levels does it give you plenty of teleports all over the place. Obviously, you have the Fire Altar in Al Karid, Air Altar is a Falador slash Port Sarim teleport, Water Altar to the Lumbridge Swamps Dungeon, and Earth Altar to the Sawmills. Um, in order to do this, I'd recommend getting yourself graceful as well. Most of you guys will probably have that before you actually start the construction grind. I'd say that's probably one of the things most people go for early. Besides that, you're going to require steel bars. Um, they aren't needed every single contract, but I always keep two in an invent just because I now have the plank sack, which means I'm doing three contracts per run. Other than that, an axe for cutting your oak logs, unless you're a normal Iron Man and you have them all stored in your bank, etc. Obviously, you won't need that, but for the sake of this video and being an ultimate Iron Man, I'm going to show you how I do it. Hammer and saw is required for it. Cash for the sawmill, a rune pouch for your home teleports, and yeah, that is about it. So, in regards to going and getting the Ring of the Elements, another reason why I found it was really beneficial was because I got a serious stack of runes. And that runes, ba those runes basically cover you for all teleports you need. It's going to get you mad magic XP. And yeah, in reality, I'd honestly 100% go and, go and get the quest done for Guardians of the Rift. Go and smash it out. I think you could just go and get a base 60. I mean, go and get 60 rune crafting. You'll have enough pearls and you'll have a really, really good starter up amount of runes, which for this is super beneficial because money's tight on Iron Man and we do not like spending money on runes. Um... Besides that, what I would recommend having in your house or once you get to this level is getting this portal chamber here. Now, there are four places you're going to have to go. You're going to have to go to Falador because there is three in Valley by the fountain that you will get contracts for. Varrock, there is Jeff and Bob. Ardi, there is Ross, Noella and somebody else and Host Sidious. So I have my Falador teleport. I have my Ardi teleport. I have my Varrock teleport, which is on the far side over here. And my house is currently in Hosidius. Now, I'm not entirely sure what my contract was. It was for Ross. So let's stop misclicking everywhere and let's show you how I do a run. Simply, normally house teleport. We're going to go to the city that has been asked of us to go to. We're going to go and do the run. We're going to go to the mahogany contract, which is Ross. He is northwest over here by the church. And it is really pretty simple, guys. All you have to do, run to this place. Go and build all the shit that this guy wants. Pretty, pretty easy. I mean, he really doesn't use a lot of things. Oh, hate using my steel bars, even though I know they're really good XP. I really just don't like using them because it means I've got to go to a bank and unload them. 
but it is what it is. So we're going to fix Ross's drawers here. That sounded really, really wrong. I could have worded that awfully, awfully. But yeah, repair his broken range. I think we're going to have to go upstairs, maybe. Yeah, he's got stuff upstairs. Now, one of the things I actually noticed is these hat stands in the corner. I kept freaking missing them early on. So really do have a little look around because they do hide them as well as the mirrors that get broken too. So that is it. Jobs are good. And we're going to pop downstairs. We're going to talk to Ross and he's going to give us our reward. We're going to get XP and bam, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Now, estate agents are based relatively local to where all the contracts are. As you can see here, it is just back past the church. That was Ross. Now, Amy is upstairs in this one up in this ladder and Noella is just north of the market. Estate agents is here, which means we can go and grab another contract from Ellie. Where would you like to send us, Ellie? Go to Falador, absolutely. Straight to the house teleport. If it loads, we're going to go straight to Falador. And that is it. Obviously, I know you need a higher level construction for the portal chamber, but if you are going to do Guardians of the Rift, you're going to have so many runes. Just get teleports to all four cities. Uh, three cities, sorry. You're just going to need RD and Falador and Varrock because Hosidius is where your house is going to be based. Unfortunately, I didn't get a Hosidius one, so I can't show you. But if you've got the plank sack, simply withdraw it. You've still got your steel bar. Teo or Tao is in this bottom corner. She's nice and simple to get to. I'm going to have to use my steel bar here, repair this. And yeah, this is Mahogany Homes, guys. This is pretty much as simple as it gets for us Iron Man. It is as good as we're going to get XP-wise. And the rewards are actually pretty nice, actually. I do quite like the old outfit. It's pretty cool. Obviously, it's not really of much use to me. We're going to finish this bad boy off. One more cupboard. And you're welcome. Your work has been completed. That is it. That is as simple as this gets. Now, normally I would go and get a third, but however, I do need to unnote my steel bars. So, this is where the Ring of the Elements comes in. We're going to go straight to the sawmill. And all we're going to do, if you haven't got noted logs and you are an ultimate Iron Man like myself, we are just going to grab another invent here. We are simply just going to cut the oak logs. We're going to turn them into planks. And if you don't have a plank sack, just go straight to your next contract. If you do have a plank sack, fill it all the way up. Go and unnote yourself two more steel bars. And that is it. I mean, it's really, really quite simple. A lot of people were saying how they weren't looking forward to it, but I really actually don't mind it. It's actually pretty nice and chill and the xp you're actually getting considering how little amount you've actually got to do is so nice and chill now all you need to do is remember that you need two free inventory spots or only one if you're just taking one steel bar entirely up to you but yeah that is it guys that is pretty much what i'm going to be doing for the next however long i'm going to use it for most of my cash part i guess but yeah that is how i am running mahogany homes and that is how i'm getting my construction up so if any of you guys have watched this and it has been a help to you guys, well, I hope it's been very beneficial. And I hope all of you all my Iron Man that are potentially watching this learnt something and hopefully it does help you all in your future grind. So good luck and yeah, see you soon.